Do you remember a couple of weeks back when I played around with this ring pour cup tool that I just glued together? And this was one of the results that I got which were kind of pretty, but not as pretty as can be, I'd say. So there was something that had to be added to make it complete. And the final decision was about painting a deer head. So this is the reason why this video is titled Oh Deer. <laughs> I thought it was kind of clever and funny. So yeah, this is actually what I'm going to do in this video. I thought about painting a realistic deer head, but then I thought that might look awkward in the end. So therefore I decided to go for a more abstract and stylized kind of deer head, which I want to add there, and this is what you can see here. I looked up some designs that I might like and just traced it onto a plastic paper and then used transfer paper to put it on my actual canvas. I used a red transfer paper here first to cover the white areas and then I added again a white transfer paper to cover the areas which are in the reds, so in the copper, to have it visible all over the entire piece. Once this was done and I was able to see the lines onto my canvas, I just grabbed a black line marker, it is something like an adding, so it's waterproof, and just painted over the lines and evened them out. The good thing with this transfer paper, you can just paint over it, so you won't see any of these white or red lines in the end. And the good thing with this waterproof liner is that it is waterproof. <laughs> so you can just paint over it and still see the lines through, which is kind of great. Because the paints that I'm using are somewhat translucent on the first layer, and these are the metallic acrylics which I normally use for highlighting stuff and also for water pours when I use resin. Because this stuff really has awesome colors and it shimmers and it's great. And it's also the metallic color that I used for the deer horns, so to speak here. So the ring pour in the very beginning. But for this I used copper. For the first two layers I just used metallic orange and painted over the entire piece. And as this paint is rather translucent, it is not covered entirely opaque, so we can see everything through, some parts of the canvas as well, which is not so much of a deal because I will add a couple of more layers in the end. Once these first layers were dried, I just wanted to add some more texture to the entire piece to make it more interesting to look at and to have some more details and close-ups and such. So I opted for my crackling paint. Because it is crackling paint and it's super awesome, I love this stuff. And if you don't have tried this on your own, you really should do so. It's it, it, You can get awesome effects with it. The good thing is that you can apply it on almost any surface, it dries and cracks on its own, it makes beautiful shapes and cracks and yeah, it just give it a try, really, it's, it's great. And so I added this stuff here on a relatively thin layer, so I do not want to have really large obvious cracks, I wanted to go for more subtle and smaller cracks, and the thicker you make this paste, the, the more prominent the cracks are going to become. So this here is rather thinly applied. It is not so easy because you can only hardly apply it with a brush, so you need a spatula or something, which makes it not so easy making these edges here. But well, in the end, everything worked out pretty fine. Next day, I painted over it with gold because I wanted it to look a bit more outstanding and shiny. So gold was my go-to color here. For the rest of the deer, I just used some different shades of copper or orange or bronze. So I mixed those colors a bit together, added some black here and there. So just to have a color variation. So that it is more interesting to look at and that you can see more of these shapes in the end. As the entire canvas was not completely white covered in the first pour, I also mixed up some pure white just like in a regular pouring and put it over the white areas just to have them covered again solid white. And I also shrinked a bit of these horns so that the ear is more free and not as much covered with the horn in the background. For the very last steps I again picked my black marker and painted over the lines again just to make them more visible, more prominent and to get this abstract look and feel back to the entire piece. And you know what? I'm really happy that I did it. I was struggling with myself how and if I should do this deer head over there, if it really looks as I wanted it to look, if I mess up everything and if I have to put it away and never show it to the public again. 
um, yeah, I'm really, really happy that I made this design and that it looks as it looks now. And I really hope you enjoyed this project here as well. Please let me know in the comments what you think, if you liked it, if you perhaps want to try this on your own. And if you think this concept is something worth experimenting more with, just let me know. I'm really curious what you think about it. And thanks again for those who voted back then when I asked about any ideas what to make with this. I had the dear head idea in my mind and it came across some of your thoughts as well. So it was really helpful for me and thanks a lot for that. If you're new to my channel and have not seen any of my other videos, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss any of my new videos and also head back having a look at all these other videos that are already on my channel. If you have any questions, again, please leave me in the comment box below and if you want to see what I've used as materials, I've linked everything in my description box as usual as well as my social media if you want to get in touch with me. So if you like this, please share with all your friends, family and everyone who might want to see it. And other than that, I hope to see you in my next videos. <laughs> have a great day. Bye bye.